Hi, I'm Donna. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing three different types of needle threaders. First of all we have the traditional um, wire with a little holder. Secondly we have an automatic needle threader where you insert the needle here and click this and a tiny little hook appears um, for you to slip the thread underneath and when you let go it supposedly magically threads the thread. The last one we have is almost a, a bit of a combination of the two so it's a big holder which is nice and comfortable to hold and it has a tiny little like a crochet hook on the end. So we're going to try them with three different size needles, small, medium and a larger needle but also um, with the medium needle we won't just use single thread we will try, um, we'll also try um, two strands of embroidery floss and we will also try three strands of embroidery floss in the larger needle. First up we have the classic needle threader. Now straight away this one does not feed through. Next up we have the auto needle threader. So we'll insert that and then we get the thread underneath the hook and then it pulls down and we slowly carefully pull that out. It was in very slightly, it's just fallen out, but damaged the string a little and there is a big kink there now I think that's a weak spot now and again this one doesn't fit either so a bit of a flop all round that one so at the end of round one I will score the classic needle threader zero the auto needle threader Two because it did it but not very well and I think that the thread would be weaker and the final one also zero because it didn't work at all. Thread it all the way through like that and then we have a much larger to just thread the string through and then we should be able to pull that back through. Insert the hook, push up the needle, tuck the thread underneath, let it pull it through, make sure that's pulled all the way down, sometimes it sticks, and we carefully pull this out. And as you can see it's just about in there you should be able to just pinch it and pull it through that last little bit. There we go. So we're going to thread that through so that the needle is on the hook. And we're going to slip the thread over the top. If we pull it down tight, we should be able to just lift that off or not. Just about. It didn't really want to go through and um, once again I think that the thread strength is going to be compromised as there is a bit of a... Yeah, it snapped the string. So, not ideal. So at the end of round two I'm going to score the classic needle threader 4 out of 5. Um, as it did the job pretty well. I am going to score the auto needle threader 3 out of 5 as it worked but it did kink the thread slightly um, and I was worried that it might have affected the strength of the thread. And finally I'm going to give this one 
a zero out of five as it did work but as you saw the uh, the thread snapped so it's it's no good if the thread isn't going to be intact by the time you threaded it thread the string through and then you just pull that back through and nice large hole compared to the previous needles so no problem with that one it's even though it's a fairly large hole if you've got um, bad eyesight or if you've got a bit of a tremor in your hands then using a needle threader is going to be really helpful to keep you being able to continue with crafting So we'll put the needle in and already it actually the pin head is too long at the top to push it in far enough to allow the hook to go through so it can't it doesn't work and then lastly we have the tiny crochet hook and we'll stick that through Put the string across the top, pull that a little bit tight so it doesn't slip off, and yeah, again, no problem. It's a nice, nice large needle, so actually, that did the job absolutely perfectly. So for round four we are going to use the medium needle with two strands of embroidery floss. So push that through. That doesn't want to go through. Unfortunately it has put a large kink in the thread so I would say that's going to damage the integrity of the thread. Next up we have the auto threader, so we will stick the medium needle through, two strands of embroidery floss under the hook, click it through, and carefully, oh no, I think, didn't want to work. And last but not least we have the tiny crochet hook. Thread that on, hook the thread across, and again, that doesn't actually want to pull it through. So again, not a success. So for round four, I am going to score the classic needle threader zero as it was unsuccessful. I'm also going to give the auto needle threader zero as it didn't successfully pull the thread through although the needle did fit and finally I'm going to give the crochet hook type threader also a zero as it didn't work either. So a very unsuccessful round. For the last round we have three strands of embroidery thread and the larger needle. This is helpful if you are trying to thread multiple strands of floss as sometimes you can thread one but not the rest so actually putting it through like this ensures that you have all of your threads pulled through and that does the job really well. Next up we have the auto needle threader and as we discovered Previously, this needle unfortunately does not fit in the actual mechanism. And now, lastly, we have the tiny crochet hook. So, that's the problem with this is this is harder to keep all of the strands together so the 
classic hook type is probably works a little bit better and then pull that through as you can see it's starting to split but it has threaded it through just need to pull it through like that so at the end of round five I am going to give the classic needle threader five out of five it did the job fine it didn't struggle and it was a nice smooth mechanism the auto needle threader um, as it was like, unsuccessful has got another zero and the crochet hook type I am going to give a four as it was successful but the mechanism wasn't as smooth as with the auto. So final scores. In third place we have the auto needle threader with five points. Unfortunately it was quite unsuccessful on a couple of categories and that really did some damage for it. The concept is quite nice and it did succeed in a couple of places but unfortunately it's quite poorly executed, it's made of quite thin plastic, it does feel quite flimsy so I don't know how long it would actually last even if it was successful. The second place is the crochet hook type needle threader with nine points. It was successful in a couple of different ranges um, but it did struggle with some of the smaller needle holes. In first place is the classic needle threader with 14 points. It was fairly successful all round. Again, as with the other ones, it did struggle with some of the finer needles. Um, so it's, its use is predominantly with the slightly larger needles and thicker threads. These classic needle threaders, I bought a pack of 10 for £1.99. So I think that's really good value um, as I know that they aren't very long lived and they do snap quite easily. The auto needle threader, I paid £2.99 for a pack of three of these. I think it has, it use, has its uses in certain situations, it, it was the only one that actually worked with the fine needle. Um, it was a little bit awkward though to pull out the needle with the thread intact and it was, it was quite easy to drop that thread even though it has just about been threaded through but it, it does work in some situations. Now the crochet hook type needle threader, I bought a pack of three for £1.69. One thing to note about this one is that that tiny little hook is actually quite sharp. So if you do get these, just, just watch yourself because that, that does catch quite a bit and it would probably catch on your clothes if you weren't being careful. So that's the end of my review. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.